with its cheerful blue, white and yellow plumage. The Eurasian blue tit is one of our most recognisable and beloved birds. They usually nest in tree holes, although they easily adapt to nest boxes like this one. At Brockwell Park Community Greenhouses in South London, we've got our own bird box up in a sycamore tree. It has a camera inside, part of our Windows to Nature project, and in spring of 2021, we already have a resident. In the bird box, this mama blue tit has laid a clutch of five eggs. Normally, the male blue tit would help her raise the brood, but this mother is having to do it alone. She's going to have her work cut out for her. Blue tits prefer insects and spiders to eat, but will happily feast on seeds, nuts, and other high calorie foods that humans leave around. It's near the end of May in the bird box, and the first of the eggs has hatched. The mother blue tit will be kept busy bringing food to her chicks. The baby birds grow up in just weeks because she's very good at providing food. It's not unusual for a single bird to feed the chicks in a nest at a rate of one feed every 90 seconds. She shows the grub she's got to the chick, but it's far too big for her baby to swallow. Instead, she'll eat it herself and then regurgitate the food for her baby. Thanks, Mum. Removing the old eggshell from the nest allows the chicks to grow and spread out, but eating the eggshell where she can is important to the mum. The shell contains a lot of valuable calcium, which can be tough for mum to find in the wild. Waste not, want not. Blue tits are agile and acrobatic flyers, and excellent tree grippers and climbers. A couple of days later, and we can see that four out of the five eggs have hatched. Now the mother has four mouths to feed. They're very cute, but completely helpless, relying totally on their mother. What a workload. If you want to help busy British birds, especially in winter, there are lots of things you can put out for them to eat. Seeds, nuts, even dog food. Head to rspb.org.uk to find out what food is safe to put out for birds. Back in the bird box and disaster strikes. The mother sits on the nest in a defensive position. Something is trying to get in. Eggs are often stolen by mammals like squirrels and eggs and even juvenile blue tits can be food for bigger species of birds. Judging by the racket it's making, we think this is a crow trying to force its way inside the bird box. But Mama Blue Tit is having none of it. The survival rates for Blue Tits in their first year is less than two in five. Of the four eggs that hatched in the nest, only two chicks will survive to fledge. Those two surviving birds are noisy and full of personality. But until they leave the nest and start hunting on their own, they're still totally dependent on Mum. And, to be honest, there's not much to do when she's not around. By the middle of June, the boulder of the two chicks is ready to leave the nest. There's just time to have a last look around the only home they've ever known, and a last little nudge at their sibling, and then it's time... to go. The remaining bird is almost ready but not quite yet. It'll take one more snack from mum and one last lesson on how to nimbly depart the bird box before they're finally ready to take to the skies. Come on buddy, you can do it. Any time now. Yep, on your way. Off you go. And just like that, the nest is empty. Blue tits often return to the same hole year after year. So we hope to welcome this busy mum back again next year for her next brood.